Tonight, a St. John's County thrift shop is under the microscope, accused of wrongfully firing 12 employees. In a 29-page lawsuit, the former employees claim the Betty Griffin House. It's a shelter that serves domestic violence victims and also has two thrift stores. Well, the suit claims the shelter unlawfully fired thrift shop employees who spoke out about safety concerns at the store. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker reviewed the lawsuit before speaking with the attorney and one of the former employees. Francesca. Well, Joanne Kent, this 29-page lawsuit exposes it all, from deplorable working conditions to racial discrimination claims, even saying that minimum wage payments were not met. Now, tonight I did speak over the phone with one of those whistleblowers who was also represented in this lawsuit. She says she's just fighting for what every employee should have. I want people to matter and that we're not disposable based on our standards. Trish Van Brocklin says it was a simple request that in the end cost 12 employees at this thrift shop their jobs this year. According to six of the employees who have now filed lawsuits, they claim this thrift shop connected to Betty Griffin's house was forcing them to work in unsafe and hazardous conditions. I spoke over the phone with Trish Van Brocklin, who worked at the shop for three years. We never had AC in the back room, and um, it was always saturated with the roof leaking and the black mold and the tiles start falling on us. The issues included rats and rat feces throughout the store, black mold, and even fire hazards due to overstocking. Last year, she began taking these pictures. I actually took pictures of the black mold from my personal cell phone and sent them to the HR. What was done from there? Nothing. Nothing was ever done. Um, a new HR came in in October 2015. We walked through the store and told her our issues and still nothing. Until March, when Trish and several other employees say they were fired over the phone. According to the lawsuit, OSHA conducted a walkthrough of the facility in April, resulting in nearly two dozen citations. The lawsuit states that after that visit, some of the remaining employees were bullied and intimidated by management and eventually let go. Trish tells me she once loved her job, but hopes this lawsuit will urge St. John's County to boost workplace safety standards. And I did get a chance to speak with the attorney who was representing the, these employees over the phone. She mentioned to me and reiterated these health and safety hazards. She also said that when Ho OSHA visited, visited, this was the kiss of death that terminated these employees. And also, I did reach out to the executive director of the Betty Griffin House, Joyce Mayer. I called her a couple of times and even left the voicemail, and we have not heard back. For now, reporting live, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station.